All right, we are back to another Pokemon they fixed this generation, and what do you know? It is one of the first Pokemon's ever introduced in Charizard, and uh, like, where do I begin here? I feel this is one of the most recognizable Pokemon, yet one of the most unviable Pokemon in Smogon OU for a long time. The Mega Pokemon that got Generation 6 did help it, but it lost the this generation, so what really did happen for Transpire? I really can't go forward without mentioning the problem Charizard always has had since Generation 4, really, and that is Stealth Rocks. Basically, Firefly has been, for the longest time, a typing that is defensively really well-rounded, and uh, it got so many things right, and in the fourth generation, you know, it finally got a defined niche of, you know, flying could be special, and, you know, fire always was special. So all of a sudden, it could focus on that and be extremely effective with that. But Stealth Rocks puts this Pokemon back so naturally that so many strategies behind it was ignored or too tough to use because the synergy forced the Charizard to work are so so tough to do naturally that Charizard just became a lower tier Pokemon. It is phenomenal. It has a very high damage output, but just the synergy with his Pokemon are so crucial that you rather just forget about it completely. So far flying, you're immune to earth, earthquake, I was gonna say, but ground, strongly resists bug and grass, which is real nice, and resists fairy fighting, fire, and steel. That's a plenty of resistances, six resistances and one immunity. There are very few Pokemon like that. And the weaknesses, you know, electric and water. I think that's fair, I think that's very workable, but you are double weak to, of course, rock. And, um, you know, you have to watch out for that, clearly, like, you always have that combination in mind. That, you know, a uh, uh, ground Pokemon probably has stone coverage. So, what happened this generation to make it so good? Well, you shouldn't go without saying, but you know, as much as they vlogged, what solved this for it was Heavy Duty Boots. That is the one thing for us to talk about, because Heavy Duty Boots, yes, of course, it did help this Pokemon. All of a sudden, no longer we just self rocks. It simply meant that this Pokemon can run a plethora of set naturally that it wasn't able or wouldn't want to run naturally. Uh, the Belladrum set, for example, are now n no, never at risk. Uh, if you want to use Belladrum, you should be able to pull that off because Self Rock is a non issue. And uh, then we have the defensive Roost Defog set, uh, much like Moltres, but using Air Cutter or Air Slash or Hurricane, even with Fire Blast or Flame Forward or even Will O Wisp. It isn't as effective as Moltres because it lacks U-turn, but Roost and Defog are quite well-rounded. Then you only need basically Flying Stab anyway to do alright. So it's worse defensive than the Moltres, but consider that we don't have a Moltres as far as this generation, that defensive set is phenomenal and ideal in so many ways, and uh, I think rather forgotten right now. It has been utilized in RU. Uh, it's not the most prominent set because of Torkoal, uh, and 9 tiles because it boosts its solar power and then also it's another thing solar power solar power boosts your special attack by one third of your, your attack by one basically life or boost and uh, you didn't want to necessarily run that because of the risk of getting or cutting yourself short it's phenomenal in sun but you always run the risk if you fail to uh, minimize any type of hazard then shards will fall flat uh, it can now Utilize solar power, you get a life for boost, and don't need to worry about <laughs> you know, there's little damage from hazards. I'm coming back to that, but that's such a huge thing with Charizard. It was basically whether or not it was going to work or not. Uh, another thing that happened this generation that will define it as not only a sun Pokemon is it got both Hurricane and Weather Ball. What this basically means is that this Pokemon can be run in Rain Team, and it has those resistances that are so key for water types. The grass resistances, this, which is, like I said, crucial. There are so few that got it. Yes, it's way too electric, but Seismic Toad is a key or common Pokemon for rain right now, so they work really well. And Weather Ball being a water based damage from a fire types, we're, we have rarely Pokemon like that. We have like Embor with Scald, and then I believe we got Cinder Scorch with the same Scald, and then we got Old Canyon. I think there's four free Pokemon that pull this off. and. Now Charizard is among them, and that's a very, very nice niche. Charizard has been this generation a, a, a beast on its own, and of course, I should say Hurricane, a 100% attack rate of rain, come on. This is a phenomenal Pokemon right now, and it is, it's phenomenal because everything that didn't work for it because of hazards are now ignored, 
And it turns out it's a very, very good Pokemon. 100 big speed is playing in this smoke environment. The special attack 109 plus potential of solar power boost and immune. Yeah, and the fire and grass or the fire, fire flying combination are actually offensively very capable. And this Pokemon got filler moves too. We got Earthquake, you want to capitalize on that. You got Brain Punch, you know, you got all the weird stuff. You know, get Thunder Punch. This is extremely, extremely well rounded Pokemon that if I would say it has one thing going against it, it would be that it doesn't have a grass coverage beside a solar beam. But if you're going to use grass coverage, you're probably using the sun team. So does it matter? Probably not. Probably not. Um, I'm very happy to see that Charizard, while losing its mega form, still became probably more recognizable than ever because it now relies on its base form to be viable. It turns out it was viable all this time. All it needed was something to negate its biggest issues, which was actually its rock weakness to self rocks. So, for my money, it's amazing to see Charizard this active and so well rounded this generation. And I'm very happy that Charizard finally, after what is this now, 12 years, getting recognizable again for its viability in the meta and smoke and OU. So, thank you very much for watching, and you know, as always. Do tell what you guys are thinking with new shards of this generation. Isn't it incredible that they can revive Pokemon like this? It feels so great to see it. So with that said, have a great day and take care of one. Bye.